Hey guys, I have had a fantastic day today and you're going to find out just after this quick announcement. Just wanted to let you know that my sponsor Avail are very grateful for all the people that signed up uh, to the app since my last video. If you remember rightly, I put a video up saying that they had like 234 jobs available. Uh, all those positions have been filled. Um, so big thank you to everyone that did uh, sign up to them. They got more jobs coming live very soon. So if you haven't signed up, click the link down below and uh, get your name on board so that when the jobs are available, you can be notified. So yeah, anyway, enjoy the video. Uh, sorry, it's been a while, <laughs> but uh, I'm back. So here we go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hope you're having a fantastic time so far. I know what with the circumstances, uh, all this COVID-19 going about, perhaps now isn't the best time for, um, for most people, but just try and, you know, smile, keep happy, and uh, hopefully we can all get through this. But yes, welcome back to my channel. I do apologize for not uploading for quite a while. Um, I wanted to get used to the job. Uh, I, I mean, tell a lie, I am used to the job. Um, I've done tipper work before. Doing tipper work is not new to me. It's more just getting used to the company and uh, I mean, more specifically, getting used to the drivers um, and just the people who work for the company. So I think it's fair to say that uh, not everybody is keen on the YouTube. <laughs> In fact, I'd say it's probably a good sort of 80% based on what I've heard and seen that uh, people don't really like me doing the YouTube stuff at this company. The management are fine with it. They said during the interview they were fine with it, but it doesn't seem like the drivers are. Uh, I've heard a few things on the CB, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. <laughs> I know they'll be watching this as well right now. So hello, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Your view is as good as any. <laughs> Right, so today we are um, on our way to Andover. We, we're already loaded because we got preloaded yesterday. Uh, we need to go to Andover, tip it off on a site. Um, and then from Andover, we need to go to <coughs> a quarry base in Oxford or just outside Oxford, get loaded, go back to Andover again, and then go back to Oxford again, and go back to Andover again. So we've got three deliveries to make today, according to our paperwork. It's about an hour turnaround for each journey. Uh, not an hour turnaround, sorry, an hour one way for each journey. So, yeah, we're looking at a good six, seven hours driving today, um, which for a tipper driver is, in my experience, quite a lot. Uh, normally you do like more tips than you would driving, but today's more driving than it is tips. So, yeah, look forward to it. Uh, again, apologies for not uploading for a while, uh, but hopefully you can enjoy this vlog. Uh, we're gonna have a bit of a time lapse going on soon. And then uh, I will see you uh, when we're a little bit closer to our destination because I've never actually been here before. This place we're delivering to, so I've got to try and find it. See you in a bit. Nothing really matters if you're not mine right here, right now. Right, so we're still on our way there, but I just want to have a quick chat quickly about uh, the whole thing that's going on at the moment. Um, <coughs> Boris Johnson made his speech last night about how everyone now needs to be on lockdown. Well, it's not, it's not actually technically lockdown. I think everyone's taking it as lockdown, but it's not. All he said is stay at home unless you're going to work or if you can work away from home. He hasn't actually banned people going to work. Um, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm driving and I'm going to work. There are precautions that we're taking in place. So for example, I'm self-isolated in this truck. I've got a, a bottle of um, Dettol, which is not my truck by the way, but I've got a bottle of Dettol um, and I give it a good clean every morning just to be safe. Uh, I try not to talk to the other drivers. Not that I want to, but I try not to talk to them in the morning because it's, they're, they're all congregating in, in an area and you know that's what you should not be doing so i get my keys in the morning and i just jump straight in the truck um 
my health is more important than trying to talk to drivers. Uh, when it comes to getting paperwork signed later, um, I won't be passing my pen and pad to him. I'll be asking him what his name is and I'll be signing it for him and then asking if he wants a copy. Um, so, you know, and my windows are done up. They'll be undone later at some point. But basically, I'm self-isolating in my in what is my truck for today, even though it's not technically my truck. By the way, shout out to the person whose truck it is. If you are watching, you know who, uh, you know it's your truck. I'm not going to say your name, because you might not want me to, but um, I don't think you've got a problem with the videos. You actually, you actually wish me luck, so thank you, mate. I do appreciate that. You're actually one of the first people to be kind to me. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, so a lot of people might be thinking, Luke, why are you at work? Why are you doing work? It's not essential. You're not an essential worker. And to some extent, I can agree with you. I, there are people out there doing far more essential jobs than what I am doing today. I'm just delivering stone from one place to another. Uh, to some degree, it's essential. Um, we're, built, we're, we're taking it to a housing site, building site. So those houses do need to have, you know, the foundations in place. Whether the site is actually open or not, we don't know. We're going to have to find out if the site's closed. And obviously, there's not a lot I can do about it. Thank you very much. But, um, yeah, the country is not on lockdown. You are allowed to leave your home to go to work, which is what I'm doing. So, for anyone saying, why are you at work? Why are you driving? It's because legally I'm allowed. And also, I need the money. <laughs> my my partner, who long-time viewers may remember this, she's a childminder. She looks after children. She's been forced to close by the government. So now I'm the only source of income for our household. So if I don't go to work and earn the money, we're gonna be, you know, screwed for lack of a better word. Uh, the government have introduced this 80% thing, haven't they? So if we do get laid off, if, I, if Earthline do like stand me down, then hopefully I get the 80%. I, I don't know exactly how long, how it works because I've not been here that long. I've only been here a month, so am I still entitled to it? I, I bloody hope so. <laughs> because I screwed it for not. Um, so yeah, and of course I make money on YouTube, but it's not a lot. Like, I haven't uploaded in over a month, so <laughs> I'm not getting any money really from YouTube in the next month or two. So, yeah, it's just, be careful out there, guys. You know, we're, we're essentially on a lockdown, but it's not officially lockdown. Stay at home with your kids and just have fun, really. And if you've got to go to work, then go to work. If you can work away from home, then obviously work away from home. But until they design remote control lorries <laughs> that I can control from the comfort of my gaming chair in my office, then I'm going to have to come into work until they tell me otherwise. We did have an email this morning um, from the company CEO and he said that you don't have to come to work if you don't want to. So that's, that's nice. I'm assuming we wouldn't get paid, so <laughs> I've come to work. <laughs> But yeah, just, just stay safe out there, guys, and, you know. But the roads are quiet, on the other hand. That's a plus side. The roads are dead quiet. And I just said to somebody on the CV radio, I said, it's like it's like doing a night shift, but during the day. It's quite nice. <laughs> the roads are dead quiet. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning now. Most people would normally be on their way to work. I mean, it's not 9 o'clock, so it might get busier. And we've got to go, like, pretty much into Oxford City Centre later. Not City Centre, but towards Oxford so traffic can build up quite a lot there so assuming we get this tipped off then we'll be going to Oxford so we'll see how busy it is up there so but yeah it's the desperate times calls for desperate measures hence the uh, the video title you know you've got to go to work you've got to earn the money I'm sure people can go to work they will go to work and at the moment I can go to work so if my if my partner could work she would work but she's been forced to close by the government tell a lie she can look after one kid because that one kid has a parent who is a teacher for special needs so she is an actual key worker so but yeah no big big up to all the NHS staff and the police and paramedics and fire firefighters and not just that but also you know like the scientists no one's talking about the scientists trying to find the cure of course they're trying to find the cure there might not be a cure yet but they're trying to find one so you know big up to them Big up to them, man. Right, anyway, let's crack on. We're not a million miles away now, so. Uh, but like I said earlier, we are going to be a little bit early. Most building sites don't open to 8 o'clock and we're going to be there for half past 7, so. I'll either stop somewhere for half an hour on the way, or I'll just go and have a little nosy around and see if I can find the site. We're going to a Taylor Wimpy site, and I've 
put Taylor Wimpy into Google before I left, and there's like three sites within within an area. So they're not all Taylor Wimpy, but you know, I got an idea where I'm aiming. I got a street address, <laughs> but there's a it's a long street. <laughs> so let's see. Right, catch you in a bit. Okay, we're about a mile away now from the uh, destination or the road that I put in the sat nav. KFC have closed down. Did you know that? <laughs> and McDonald's. What's a man supposed to eat? Uh, serious note, I am actually on a diet. In fact, I joined a gym. Uh, turns out the gym is also shut as well. It's like the universe does not want me to lose weight. I've been down here before. There's, an, there's a place down here called Aero Park. But it doesn't say on the paperwork anything about Aero Park. So I might have, I might have actually been to this site before. Possibly. Based on where the sat nav's taken me. Fuck. Nearly swore then. That van just come out of nowhere. Um, yeah, so we need to go up here and turn right. Oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, I'm in a Scania XT. Uh, it's a nice, nice truck, to be honest. I do quite like it. Not just because it's a Scania. Not, name has nothing to do with it for me. It's just, like, comfort-wise and like the power it has off-road is quite good as well so my my actual truck is a DAF but it's uh, unavailable at the moment so I'm just uh, I'm in this truck for now yeah there's a few sites down here so I might know where it is this is Smanuel Road now Smanuel S-M-A-N-N-E-L maybe two hours. Smanuel, weird name. So this is the road we need to be on. And there's uh, a building site up here on the right that I've been to before, but I can't remember being called the same thing. We might need to uh, get out and speak to someone, which in itself might be an issue because uh, I've got no hard hat which is annoying, because I've been issued with a hard hat, but it's in my truck, and I would have thought there would have been a hard hat in this truck. Yeah, there's a Taylor Wimpy right there. So, I'm gonna go past it, and then spin round if I have to. Well, that's not an entrance anyway. Is this the one we need though? Is it? I don't think it is. It's the one it's the one I delivered to. So there's loads of Taylor Wimpies. You've got one there, you've got Saxon Heights down here. And this is all some manual road. Be careful because it's still 20 past seven. It's a bit early, really, to be going into those housing estates. Oh, I don't know where I've got to go, man. I've got a contact number, so I'm gonna I'm gonna park up and I'm gonna give the bloke a call at eight o'clock. Find out which one it is that he's at. I think that's gonna be the best bet, isn't it? Was that the one we were in last time? Yeah. Yeah, this was the one that we were in last time. And you turn right down here, but I'm gonna um, spin around somewhere. New time I laid down there. Yeah, 
decent show homes by the looks of it. Uh, deliveries this way. Maybe it is in here we have to go. Oh, it's dead quiet. I'm not entirely sure anyone's going to be working today. It's still early. It's only, it's only 20 past 7, so... I'm not sure, um... Most people don't even turn up until like 8 o'clock, so... We're looking for a company called Galamast. All right, mate. I suppose I can ask you a question. Do you know where I'd find Galamast? Up there on the left, mate. Up there on the left? Yeah. Are they in today? I don't know if it's... I can you see the lad there in the orange? Up by the black man, there's a lad in the orange. That's Galamast. Right. We've spoken to someone. They are open, for now. They might not be open for the rest of the day. But uh, we'll have to see. But yeah, there's a bloke up there, I'm just following him. They've got 100 tonne coming today, apparently. Well, I've got three loads myself, so... see where they want it. But yeah, it is nice being on construction sites again. <laughs> I think they want it right where that digger is. Digging it. I gotta try and oh well we wanna go down there. Gotta try and remember where we're tipping it for next time. What's your name? I can sign. I got to sign it for you. Yeah. Obviously, all this stuff's going on. Do you want a copy? No, I don't want a copy, mate. No. no. What's the name? Keep it. Get one anyway, mate. Yeah. What's your name? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you just in case. Du, du, du. Oh. Are we tipping in the same place every time, or? No, 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 we're done. I need to get on there, really, look. Yeah. Obviously, he's got a few diggers in the way, and he's down there chatting. All right. So I'll pop down there and see him again. Yeah, all right, mate. Bam, bam, bam. Right, it's going to get noisy now. Actually, no, this one doesn't make too much noise going up. My, the daft makes a lot of noise going up. Right, we're all the way up.
bang. We do that just to get any like last bits out. But yeah, it's now going down. We just now need to find somewhere to spin, to spin round. That's the tail board. That's the tail board rather, still banging on the back. It's good, we want those bangs. There we go, and if I go back far enough, you can just see what I just tipped. So that little pile on the right is what I just tipped. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. Right, uh, wait for this body to go down fully. Tailboard shut. There we go. I will just double check it is shut. Uh, and also now we need to go to the quarry. On our other drivers right there. Right, I'm just gonna see if it's shut. Right, and now we go on out. Where he ideally wanted it, there was a digger in the way. I think that's what that other bloke's going up with him for now. It's a blue digger up there. Right. We're now heading out. Ugh. Ugh. When you're empty, the ride's a lot bumpier. <laughs> I've noticed. But uh, oh, that, was, that, was, that was lucky that we found that pretty much very easily. Like, I'd come up here on a whim. Come on, mate. Oh, down you come. Yeah, it's just the whim that I come up here. Because um, it's not where I've been. I've never been down here before. So, just uh, use, use my noggin a little bit to try and find the right place. Now, you may have noticed, well, if I've done it correctly, that there was a bit of a cut there. And that is because um, because the drivers aren't too keen on the whole vlogging thing at uh, Earthline. Uh, I don't want to get any drivers in my vlogs. Pure and simple. I don't want to get them in in the first place. But because of the way they're acting, I definitely don't want to get them in. Otherwise, I'll be getting it uh, in the neck. So if you see cuts anywhere, it's because uh, I don't want to get anyone in the vlog. So yeah, we just need to try and remember next time we come up here. Fantastic. You stay in there? Yeah. Yeah, the last time we went down there. It's all been finished off now, thank you. Yeah, matey boy just said to me, he goes, um, everyone else is shut down. Like, even the brickies have shut down. And they're one of the last ones there, so. He said they might not be running by the end of the day, so we'll have to see. I need to let my office know. In fact, I might let them know as well, actually. Just to be safe. Yeah, I will. I'm going to give them a call. Anyway, let's head towards Oxford. Okay, so we're about three miles away now from the quarry, which we need to get reloaded at. It's about five miles, uh, sorry, five minutes away or so. Um, but I'm not allowed to record in the quarries. Well, I mean, tell a lie. Um, the exact wording was, uh, this is during the interview, when I was telling them about the vlogging. Uh, and this is the guy who interviewed me, is like the top boss. He said, um, can't see a problem with the vlogging, the recording. He said, we got we got cameras inside the trucks recording you anyway. Um, he said, all he cares or all he don't want us to record is the sensitive equipment. So like the machinery that, um, speed camera, the machinery that like 
screens everything and sort of cuts it all up and stuff like that. So um, he didn't actually say I couldn't record in quarries. He was just don't get the machines. But that being said, uh, I'm not going to record actually in the quarry. I might record coming out of the quarry when you can't actually see anything, like on the main road or something, the, the main road out or whatever. I don't know. We will see. But I've also never been to this quarry before, so I need to be on the CB asking for help and advice. And that's another thing I can't get on the vlogs. I don't want to get anyone's voice on the vlogs. Or well, if you if you do hear a voice, it'd be like so quick and sharp it you wouldn't have a clue who it is. <laughs> but yeah, um, just about to get loaded now. Uh, one hour later from when you last saw me. And uh, yeah, once we're loaded, we'll uh, make our way back out. So see you in a bit. Okay, we are just leaving the quarry. No HGV right turn, that's fine, we're going left. Yeah, so, um, let's turn the CV down. Yeah, we just got loaded. It was nice and easy, actually, to be fair. Uh, very helpful. I went in and I said, uh, it's quite, quite um, obvious what to do. There's a way bridge, so. Uh, well, there's a port cabin, way bridge on one side, not on the other side, so obviously driving on the left side. Saw the bloke in the port cabin, and I just explained the situation, said, right, mate, says, I'm new to the company, first time here, anything I need to know? And uh, he said, yeah, just, he said, what do you want? So I told him what I want. And he said, uh, yeah, just follow the road down, uh, and then it's on the left. Um, he, said, he said, yeah, the road forks off, then it's just on the left. He said, when you, uh, when you finish, go through the wheel wash, come back on the way bridge, and then uh, we can tell you how much you weigh. Uh, he said, uh, you got a CB as well, so just get any problems, give the uh, shovel driver a shout. So much appreciated for his help. Went down there, uh, said to the shovel driver, said, hi, I'm in uh, what truck I'm in. I said, looking for 63 to 10. Don't know where it is. <laughs> I said, I think it's near me somewhere. And then he said, yeah, just turn left, park up there, mate, I'll come later. And he loaded me up, and within like literally a minute, I was done. Uh, I've been in and out of there in five minutes, basically. So, yeah, happy days. Happy days. So now it's five past nine in the morning. Uh, but basically on the outskirts of Oxford, um, uh, by the like the A34 and stuff. So now we've just got to head straight back down the A34, uh, past Newbury towards uh, Andover. That is what we've got to do now. ETA at Andover is about half past 10 this morning, or in the morning rather. Uh, which is, according to my sat-nav, an hour and 25 minutes away. I've got two hours and nine minutes driving, so I can get this tipped off. And then on the way back up, maybe stop at Tothill Services on the A34, have a 45 minute break. Uh, yeah, maybe, we have to see. I might need to speak to the guys first, just to see whether they're actually gonna be there for my last run. Because, otherwise, I'll have to work this out later. But, yeah. <laughs> It might be, well it's a three hour turnaround, if I'm gonna be there for half 10 this morning, uh, 11, 12, half past one before my break, so we're talking like half past two to three o'clock before we get back for our final run, for our final delivery. So if they're not gonna be there for three o'clock, then uh, there's no point doing the delivery because that's a lot of driving for no reason. So it's gonna be really annoying having to cut every time I see an Earthline driver, seeing as there's like 70 of us. So people driving past like that, not, not the end of the world, I don't think, <laughs> hopefully not. I don't want to upset anyone, but at the same time, I'm not doing anything to upset you, so. Anyway, an hour and a half or so drive back down south-ish, down south, we're already south, <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Your medicine, no fear, no doubt, I know a place that sneak away, leave the pain, I'll stay. So I've just heard by uh, Trucker Jenko that uh, his wife, or wife-to-be, <laughs> uh, has seen on the news that uh, all construction sites have to close down. I don't know how true this is, so I've not seen it myself, but apparently construction sites have now been told to close down. We are, we are obviously delivering to a construction site, and uh, it's gonna be about three hours. When I get there, it's gonna be about three hours since I was last there, so 
there may be nobody there, I don't know, we'll have to see. Might not be able to get this load off, might be able to get it off. Uh, and if I do get it off, then I'm gonna have to double check to see if they will be there later on, like four o'clock. But uh, yeah, at the moment, everyone's being told to close down by the sounds of it. Uh, which means I might be told to, you know, be stand, be stood down and be told to go home and stuff like that. So we'll have to see, take it as it goes, but I love the roads. The roads are dead quiet. <laughs> Driving wise, perfect conditions. Okay, so, oh, indicator keeps coming off. Uh, we're just around the corner from the site, car on the left. I've situated the camera behind me. So, uh, so A, you can see out still, but B, you should be able to see the controls down here by my left knee. And uh, just show you how I tip. And I just want to say, I'm showing you how I tip. <laughs> um, message to drivers who work for this company. I'm not showing you how to tip. You tip how you want to tip. This ain't for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> this is how I tip. Um, yeah, so, um, I'm, I'm hearing mixed messages about construction sites closing down. So we'll have to see. They might not be closing down. But I know some companies aren't going, so yeah, we just have to see. Yeah, you are, mate. All right, mate, cheers for that. You're going back for another one, yeah? Yeah, three. All right, mate, cheers for that. All right, sorry about that cut. Uh, I just spoke to someone on the CB. They're on break. They are there, but they're on break. He just told me uh, he's tipped it, where we tipped it last time, this morning, and then he's left the ticket uh, on the pile under a couple of stones. So that's what we shall do. That sun is bright, man. Right. So we enter the construction site. Yeah, it's dead quiet. Like, there's very few people here. Is that a tipper down there? Yeah, not one of ours though. Looks like he's trying to find where to tip. He stopped exactly where I stopped earlier. loaded. Mind you, actually, I stopped a little bit further. Bump! Another bump! That car park is not very full, is it? I do like the sound of this Scania, I'm not going to lie. I just got to make sure I don't actually tip it on his paperwork. <laughs> Mind you, I tipped it there last time. It doesn't look like that's where they want it now. I think I'll need to turn around. need to double check. There is a digger driver there. 
Just there, yeah? Yeah, they do want me to go straight back. Right, so I'm just looking at the camera to see when I need to stop. Well, you might be Bazorn. Let's double check that's all right. <sighs> yeah? Do you want me to go back more? Is that all right there? But to that way. All right. Ugh. Ugh. Right, he wants me over to the right a little bit more and back a bit more as well. I think that'll do. Right, so the first thing I need to do is uh, undo the sheet. So I'm just pressing uh, this button to undo the sheet. Okay, that's that done. I press that button to undo the tailgate. That one to put the uh, PTO on, and then that lifts it up. Simple. Just lift the body all the way up. There we go, turn the PTO off, in gear, handbrake off, and uh, roll forward. While trying to create a smaller pile as possible. And that's the tailgate closing. That's me breaking hard just to get any last bits out. Right, what we need to do is turn around and then I'm going to go and see him to see if he wants to sign the paperwork. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, all right, mate. So he doesn't want to sign it. J. Uh, uh, uh. That's the name I put on the last one. Uh. Excellent. Right, let's go. Easy as that. I uh, I don't think you saw or even heard, but uh, I showed him the book. So I was just going to sign it and leave it there, like matey boy said to do. But uh, obviously he was there. By the way, I'm just going to lift up the uh, the nozzle here, so it's in the centre, not all the way down, because my leg more space. <laughs> yeah, if the digger driver went there, then I would have just left it there. But because he was there, I want to double check to see if he wanted to sign it, but yeah, he didn't want to sign it, so... Fair enough. I'm alright with that. I'm creating a lot of dust behind me. Bump! And another bump!
Right. <coughs> it is 20 to 12. You know what? I'm feeling quite hot. What's the temperature? Where does it say on here? 15 degrees out. Ooh. Once we get moving, it might cool down a bit with the window open. Yeah, break is now over. Yeah, yeah, break is over. Uh, we've just had a 45 in Tot Hill Servicings. Um, just got to get my phone, which has fallen down. Do, do, do. Just make sure it's all plugged in, ready to go. Right, okay. <coughs> ready to go. We will be uh, playing some music on the way. But for now, we shall be leaving. It's all clear, all clear. Yeah, so, uh, ETA back at the quarry to get reloaded with our final load is uh, just before 20 to one would have thought we'd be out there well before one o'clock and then uh, an hour and a half back latest so we're talking like half past two uh, in Andover <coughs> excuse me but uh, we, we'll have to see on that obviously we might get held up in traffic I highly doubt it but you never know also I checked my work phone I uh, got an email from the big boss saying that uh, uh, someone has tweeted um, on Twitter, like someone quite high up, like in the transport industry or whatever, uh, saying that construction sites are not closed, but they are free to go home should they wish. Uh, and if they are, if they do go to site, they just need to follow rules. So I'm assuming that means like no congregating and spacious gaps between everyone and stuff like that. So yes. Looks like we are still in business for now. We will see. Anyway, let's crack on. Let's go get loaded. See you in, uh, in about an hour. Right, we are now loaded with our third and final run. And we are coming, getting out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, so as mentioned earlier, uh, the site should be fine, should should be open when we get back, or at least we can be able, should be able to at the very least tip it, so that's the aim of the game, and uh, we're going to be there for 10 past 2, so a lovely jubbly. When we tip that, we'll have to call the office up and uh, see if they want us to do anything else, so because we've we'll, only got three runs planned, so once we've done the three runs, although it doesn't actually stay on the paperwork, phone the office. I would rather phone the office and just see if they want me to do anything else or not. So, chances are they tell me to go somewhere else, get loaded with something, and I would take it back to the yard or go deliver it somewhere, or they might just say come back to the yard. So, we will see. But um, being in Andover, the closest uh, branch would be Fruxton. So, they might say drop this truck off back at Fruxton because that's where this truck is based, and then drive the car back. So, we will see. We will see. But yeah, we're loaded now. Um, Gonna make our way back down towards uh, towards Andover. So, see you when we get there. I know it will be alright. We are closer now than ever, and I know we'll be alright. Be alright. Be alright. Okay, you join me uh, around the corner from the yard. Not the yard, the site, sorry. Join me around the corner from the site. This is our third and final scheduled delivery. Uh, once we take this, like I said, I have to make a phone call. 
see if anything else needs doing. But I'll tell you what does need doing. I need, I need ad blue. I left the yard this morning with 60%, over 60, it was like 63% uh, ad blue in the tank. I'm on 4% now. I've got hardly any ad blue left. So I need to do one or two things. Either pop into a garage and get some, because I've got a fuel card with this truck. Uh, or pop to Fruxton and get some there before going back to the yard uh, near Swindon. So if I do one or the other. First, let's get this tipped off and I make a phone call and see what the plan is. But uh, it's going to be one of them. Gates are still open, that's good. There was always a chance that the gates might be locked if they've all gone home, but they look open, so... We shall go straight in. And hopefully, tip straight away. And also, hopefully, the GoPro on the back won't uh, fall over this time. Because it fell over, didn't it? Yeah, look at all these diggers, man. They're like not even being used. I just heard someone say on the radio now that it might be a case that a lot of these uh, machinery get taken away. Like, legally get taken away before they get illegally taken away, if that makes sense. Basically what I used to do on a low loader. Ugh. So there might be a lot of low loader work going around. Get rid of all the machines, taking them back to where they need to be and stuff. Because they can't just leave them on site in case they get pinched. Be all right for like a weekend or whatever, but we're talking possibly two weeks, maybe three weeks before anyone comes and sees it again. So who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Right, where are we going to tip this? I think I've got to turn around. Looks like we're driving on what we just tipped. Hopefully we don't get stuck. getting stuck. I got someone watching me back. Bam bam bam. Go on, mate. Just get you to pull forward a bit as you tip it, yeah? Yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Uh, yeah. What's your name? You want a copy? No? All right, mate. So, pull it. That's it, innit? <laughs> no, I'll watch you anyway, mate. Yeah, all right, buddy. I put my sheet up. I always forget the sheet. So I'm being quiet because I'm just watching his hands at the moment. He doesn't want a big pile by the looks of it.
Cheers, buddy. Just lowering it down now. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Lock the tailgate. There we go. Right, I'm just going to go down here and pull over where it's a bit wider and then uh, make a phone call. And do the window up, because when I stop, a lot of dust is going to go past me. I'm kicking up behind me. Yeah, I'm just going to stop here. You look at all this dust now, about to go past. Hey! <laughs> all that dust. Right. Let's make a phone call and see what we do. Ugh. Make a phone call and see what we're doing now. Okay, situation report. We are just around the corner. We've got to go get loaded with muck and then take it to Fruxton, which is perfect. That means we can get ad blue when we're there as well. Uh, I didn't know where to go, if I'm honest. It's, look, there's like three... Taylor Wimpy sites all in the same area, so luckily there's someone on the CV. This guy coming out now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I don't want to get people on camera. Yeah, I don't want to get people on camera, so um, if there's any sudden camera stops or cuts, then you know why. Yeah, very kind enough to guide me into the place. Which was good. So we just got to get loaded with muck, take this to uh, Fruxton, and then uh, back to the base from there. Now, just got to be quiet a second because I've got to listen out for the honk to stop. That's not the honk I wanted. That's the honk I want. Uh, it wants to be forward a bit, I think. Or maybe a bit closer. Right, apparently we're leaving paperwork down here somewhere. Can't see where. Yeah, because um, they don't want to sign them because of this virus and everything. So uh, yeah, we're self-signing. Definitely need that pink one. But he said, leave it by the gate. I can't see where he meant. Oh, okay, I see. So I'm there left. <laughs> I was looking on the right. Now I know where they want it. Anyway, yeah, so I've got, a, I've got a scales up here, so it tells me how much is actually in at the moment. We normally carry around 18 ton. What do we carry on the last one? Du, 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 du. 17, uh, 17 ton, 860 kilograms. So almost 18 ton on the last one. So we know exactly how much we can have in. We're on uh, 10 ton now. But not only that, there's an alarm, both interior alarm and exterior alarm as well. So as soon as it reaches enough weight, it beeps inside to tell me, but also makes like an alarm noise outside so it lets the operator know as well if they can hear it but uh, my body's slightly raised so what i do is as soon as the alarm goes off lower the bud's body 
Um, that then tells the bloke as well that uh, I'm done. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. So that's how I've been uh, told how to do it anyway. So whether that's right or not, I don't know. I'm not telling anyone how to do things. Just saying how I do it. <laughs> Fourteen ton. So we need four more ton. And there's a duck coming down as well. One more bucket and we'll be done. Ready for the alarm? Okay. 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 Not going off yet. Half a bucket. He's going to put a, a, a four bucket, a four bucket on anyway. So here we go. Is that done? Just take it ticket out. Okay. I'm just gonna get out of the way so this bloke can get in. He's waiting. But before I go any further, just need to put my sheet on. Anyway, now we go to Fruxton, get this tipped off, uh, get some mad blue while we're there. It's, it's worked out quite well actually. Uh, got 40 minutes left of Ad Blue, so and we're only 20 minutes away from Fruxton, so perfect, perfect timing. Right! We are loaded. Uh, no, we're unloaded. We're not loaded, we're unloaded. We're done. That was four runs today, which is not a lot, but the first three were very long distance with a two and a half hour turnaround. <laughs> so yeah, we've uh, just filled up with AdBlue as well, so 100%, 100% AdBlue. Just got to negotiate past this guy. Very dusty, I can't wait to get on like clean roads. Yeah, we're heading back to the yard now. Should be back in the yard for about four o'clock, which is not too shabby. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've vlogged, so uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, but I typically start at 6 a.m., typically finish at 4 p.m., 10 hour shift, and that's it. So no nights out, paid very well. I'm not gonna go into details about money because uh, don't want to upset anyone. Right, so now we're on some clean roads. Open the window. Gonna put some tunes on in a minute and just uh, have a nice relaxing drive back. Tunes on, shades on, windows down. It's a lovely day today and I love days like today. I really do, really do. Anyway, thank you very much everyone who's watching this video. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you do like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Uh, really doesn't bother me whether you give it a thumbs down <laughs> if you don't like it feel free don't just give it a thumbs down for the sake of it no I know there's some of you out there in fact I know actually that some of you who give it a thumbs down have your bell, uh, bell um, notification on because as soon as my videos go live get a thumbs down every now and then so whoever you are give it a thumbs up come on man appreciate the help like do you know what I mean <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Do I really do appreciate it. Sorry it's been a while since I last uploaded. Gonna try and upload more often, but um, I'm not gonna like promise days and how many and stuff like that. It's just gonna be as and when it is. But um, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully real soon. All right, thanks for watching. And until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye.